A riot is the language of the unheard. Many in moments of anger, many in moments of deep bitterness, engage in riots. A riot is the language of the unheard. I think America must see that riots do not develop out of thin air. Let me say, a riot is the language of the unheard. What is it that America has failed to hear? Failed to hear that the plight of the Negro poor has worsened over the last few years? Let me say, as I've always said, and I will always continue to say, Where did Martin Luther King stand on riots? Dr. King was a great and wise person. He earned and commanded massive, enduring respect and admiration. I get chills when I hear him speak. When people misrepresent his words, I take pains to correct them, and that is why I made this video. Lately, a certain message has been making the rounds in social media that suggests or directly claims that Dr. Martin Luther King condoned riots. Talib Kweli, for example, tweeted this out to over 1 million followers. See my video about the Twitter war between Talib and I over this. Lately, with the resurgence of marches bleeding over into riots in recent years, some people in social media and the media are quoting Dr. King out of context or misquoting him to push an agenda. Typically, people who are trying to legitimize riots by exploiting Dr. King and the respect that people have for him will quote him as saying, A riot is the language of the unheard. As if he meant with those words to condone riots, but what exactly did Dr. King mean by that? Let's look into the context in which those words were embedded. These words were taken from Dr. King's speech, The Other America, which he gave at multiple times and places. Dr. King was like a great musician in that he performed a coherent composition but also improvised, so he conveyed the same ideas but with different words each time that he gave a speech. First, he introduces his topic, The Other America, in which he discusses the disparity between the haves and the have-nots, the prosperous and the poor. I'd like to use as a subject from which to speak this afternoon, the other America. One America is beautiful for situation. And in a sense, this America is overflowing with the milk of prosperity and the honey of opportunity. Tragically and unfortunately, there is another America. In this America, millions of work-starved men walk the streets daily in search for jobs that do not exist. In a sense, the greatest tragedy of this other America is what it does to little children. Many people of various backgrounds live in this other America. America. Some are Mexican Americans, some are Puerto Ricans, some are Indians, some uh, happen to be from other groups. Millions of them are Appalachian whites. Probably the largest group in this other America in proportion to its size in the population is the American Negro. He eventually says this. As a result of the continued existence of these conditions, many in moments of anger, many in moments of deep bitterness, engage in riots. And let me say, as I've always said, and I will always continue to say, that riots are socially destructive and self-defeating. I'm still convinced that non-violence 
is the most potent weapon available to oppress people in their struggle for freedom and justice. I feel that violence will only create more social problems than they will solve. That in a real sense it is impractical for the Negro to even think of mounting a violent revolution in the United States. So I will continue to condemn riots and continue to say to my brothers and sisters that this is not the way. Continue to affirm that there is another way. The following is also important to contextualize all this. But at the same time, it is as necessary for me to be as vigorous in condemning the conditions which cause persons to feel that they must ga engage in riotous activities as it is for me to condemn riots. I think America must see riots do not develop out of thin air. Certain conditions continue to exist in our society which must be condemned as vigorously as we condemn riots. Here it comes. In the final analysis, a riot is the language of the unheard. What is it that America has failed to hear? It has failed to hear that the plight of the Negro poor has worsened over the last few years. Here's a little bit more. I would like for all of us to believe in nonviolence, but I'm here to say tonight that if every Negro in the United States turns against nonviolence, I'm going to stand up as a lone voice and say this is the wrong way. To contextualize this even further, here's an interview that he did with Mike Wallace. I will never change uh, in my basic idea that nonviolence is the most potent weapon available to the Negro in his struggle for freedom and justice. I think for the Negro to turn to violence would be both impractical and immoral. There is an increasingly vocal minority who disagree totally with your tactics, Dr. King. There's no doubt about that. I will agree that uh, there is a, a group in the Negro community advocating violence now. I happen to feel that this group represents a numerical minority. Surveys have revealed this. The vast majority of Negroes still feel that the best way to deal with the dilemma that we face in this country is uh, through nonviolent resistance. And uh, I don't think this vocal group will be able uh, to make a real dent in the Negro community in terms of swaying 22 million Negroes to this particular point of view. And I contend that the cry of black power is at bottom a reaction to the reluctance of white power to make the kind of changes necessary to make justice a reality for the Negro. Here it comes again. I think we've got to see that a riot is the language of the unheard. And what is it that America has failed to hear? It has failed to hear that the economic plight of the Negro poor has worsened over the last few years. And so you see, he said the same thing in different words many times, and he said this right up until his death. And you can also see that Dr. King was committed to nonviolence. And so if you see anybody saying otherwise, correct them. Don't put up with any bullshit, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, why not watch our other videos? And subscribe, bitches. you to know the night that we as a 
people will get to the promised land.